Elections in Nigeria are now so monetized that party tickets are reserved for the highest bidders while delegates cash in on the spoils. One of the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential primary delegates from Kaduna State, Tanko Rossi Sabo, has reportedly shared his largesse with members of his community in Songa, local government area of the state. According to reports, the delegates spent 7 million naira on the less privileged in his area, such as buying them jerseys, as well as paying school fees and hospitals. Jide, when we are developed on that particular day, we saw EFCC, EFCC officials, they wore their red jackets, I, I saw them and I laughed, even though if they are going to share anything, it's not at the venue of that particular event. The deal would have been done before they started anything. So we're just hearing that it was dollar in, dollar in, dollar in. Now we saw one, the first one we saw, a, a chief, the one chief of Korea, he bought um, you know, a Toyota car, two people were shouting, delegate, delegate. So this is another example now. It's, you see, when the FCC does some of these things, it's clear that they are just doing it for the optics. Oh, An individual camped 275 delegates. Hmm. This, that's last presidential primary of the PDP. Hmm. One individual camped 275 delegates. Hmm. You know? Now, what is the essence of camping people? It's so as to have access uh, to them. Access. Denied, denied others access to hmm. them. And you will be able to take good care of them so that Indeed. They will now reward your <laughs> generosity, hospitality. your, your uh, <laughs> uh, uncommon hospitality by voting for you. So if you go to the venue and imagine that you want to go and arrest people sharing money, they are not fools. That's not where they do it. <laughs> when we were discussing here that day, I said they are not going to arrest anybody. At the end of the day, who did they arrest? I saw them, I was just smiling. Like, just wasting time. What's the we, we've been doing this just for, for the optics. years. Just, just <laughs> for people to say, ah, yes, yes, he had to arrest yeah. people. Despite their best intentions, their best actions, the 2019 election was extremely monetized. Mm. A day to the election, some uh, politicians were going from house to house, giving people preliminary money. Mm. Then on election, they right there on the queue, mm. people were also given money. In Sokoto State, I'm aware that even women were given uh, uh, bills of cotton. Some people get up to six yards. This and this uh, I, Ankara material, we call it Atampa. They were sharing to women in addition to ten thousand naira. So. At the end, how many people did they arrest? In some cases, policemen. There is a video that I saw from Bauchi where a policeman was helping a politician to share money to people on the queue. So have they arrested that politician? Have they arrested the policeman who was helping him to share money? We just, we, we, we joke a lot in our country. Just impotent um, uh, demonstration of uh, um, 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 what is it called? Just to show that we are working, we, mm. we, we know what we are doing. So what is it? This, the PDP primaries, they shared up to $50,000 to some people. Mm. This, this time I was discussing with a, a senator, a ranking senator is coming back. He said a lot of my colleagues have lost out because governor simply shelled out money and disgraced lawmaker, federal lawmakers that they don't like. Hmm. I can tell you that at the end of this year, we will see the highest turnover rate of federal lawmakers in the history of our country. One, because of their own carelessness and crass incompetence by not doing the needful. Hmm. So the president waited for them and refused to sign. Hmm. That's one. But governors have used money, hmm. bribe delegates, to punish some senators and law, uh, federal lawmakers that, that they didn't like. Hmm. So this one is just generous, but it doesn't mean that what to even take the money is the right thing. I don't, I don't believe it's the right thing. I've read that he actually received up, up to 12 million. Hmm. 
I don't yeah. expect him to share so everything. So he's out seven million out of good guy. It's, it's done well, but we should have okay. a political system, mm -hmm. a letters, and where people don't even need to be given money at all. Now, I was told that look, naira is even not relevant in this contest. It is the amount of dollars that you can shell out, and if we are saying over 100 million Nigerians live below poverty line of two dollars per day, and you see people sharing dollars this way, and you begin to say that our politicians are very wicked set of people. All right, so the first thing to um, uh, query is the issue of um, the value of uh, an era to the dollar. Mm. For those who proclaim to be economists or uh, managers of our uh, finances, uh, we shouldn't look too far. The reason the Naira has collapsed the way it did in the last two weeks or thereabout is because politicians basically mopped up everything. And that's why hmm. we had a currency that was well, doing relatively well if you're looking at what it had been maybe some four or five years ago compared to what it, it is now. I think it's just simply um, a, a deterioration in, in our value system, it doesn't seem to be getting any better. And that should be the concern of any right-thinking Nigerian, that we don't seem to uh, be learning from the past. We're just stuck to where we had been all the while. So it's more like you know, uh, motion without movement. You know, the, the, the entire story just reminds me of um, the very popular uh, Robin Hood story, you know, and I'm, I'm not trying to draw a parallel, parallel, you know, here. Somebody, you know, takes money illegally and then decides to share, as it were, to those who are a bit, a bit vulnerable. It just speaks to how we have de degenerated as a people. And people have been celebrated. I, you and I know what the law says about, um, mm. you know, uh, giving bribe and receiving bribe. It's, we're not very That's far from it. We're, mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not very far from it. From, Far from it in this case. And the FCC guys, you know, are posturing and grandstanding to make us believe that, you know, they were there to observe things. Now, somebody has come forward to say, look, I did this. Yeah. I took money. All right. This is the evidence of it. And I've come back home to share it, you know, between among my people. And the FCC is still looking for evidence on who to prosecute. I mean, we should just get serious as, as a people. Do you know this is wickedness because the investment that you are going to put to you know to bribe delegates and the general election you are still going to bribe Nigerians. I wonder if you get there if you don't plan or intend to recoup that money. I'm even, I'm extremely worried at the rate we are going. Some people shared jeeps to people just for primary election jeeps. Mm -hmm. There is a lawmaker in um, Niger State that shared motorbikes, shared Okada. They, they lined up the Okadas and he gave them to delegates. They are able to do go this far because the president didn't sign the amendment. So the delegates are not many, but they, they've become extremely expensive. Hmm. People were clearly outpriced beyond hmm. the way things used to be. Because when you know that uh, there are not many delegates, now the competition is tough. In some cases, you have up to six persons contesting for a position. So it has to be the, the highest same, leader. And it's, it's the same delegates yes, that they are chasing. One delegate so, for local government. I'm telling you that someone was telling me that those who collected the list, this, uh, this Abuja got as much as 35 million naira. Yeah, because you know, so it. Yes. they will not tell you that this is uh, this how how much they got, but they got so much money, so much money, and mm. if you got uh, so, some distributed jeeps, still people did not vote for them. Now they are for the first time I'm hearing of people opening people's doors and collecting the money they gave delegates. They are breaking people's doors down. And ask him for yes, yes, mm. yeah, because you didn't vote for him. Yeah. You saw what we on Sunday we showed the video of a, um, um, a politician who told his, uh, his, the DG of his campaign to collect all the money that he spent <laughs> on daily, and they were bringing the money one by one. <laughs> the man uh, who was speaking, who was running the commentary, said ah, that they don't want trouble. 
Mm. That's why they've come. They brought the money, but they've warned them to not get close to their mm. place to come and campaign again mm. for having the guts to retrieve the money from them. There was another one in uh, in uh, Cross River who told the guy that he gave jeep to that if he loves himself, he should just drive that jeep, go and park it inside the police station, that he will come and collect his thing. You didn't vote for me. You can't keep my jeep. <laughs> this is you know? I, I remember that lawmaker, no. <laughs> former no. lawmaker in um, Ohio State, oh. actually went to that place to collect it. He, he, he gave a community to uh, a consumer to a community when they didn't vote and for him. When, when they just but that same person wants to collect. <laughs> People don't forget. Would you I will not mention what. Uh, it, 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 at least the Yoruba will say, "Come on, kill I. Where he is, yes. you will be remembering mm -hmm. that ah, he's he went back. He collected that back person, my transformer yeah. from that he will go back. That transformer that he took, he probably will repay them with two transformers just to bribe them so that they don't vote against him. Hmm.